Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 21st June 2023, HL and Fabrica Argentina de Avions had signed a memorandum of understanding during the ongoing Paris Air Show 2023 towards exploring the possibilities of collaboration in the field of MRO and to meet any offset requirements in case of probable sale of HL-made platforms in Latin American region. FADEA is a state-owned firm of Argentina and can be considered as HL equivalent for Argentina. As we all know that in recent few years, the ties between Argentina and India have gained huge momentum, especially related to the procurement of various aircrafts currently manufactured by HL. Multiple engagements have been made between officials of both countries in the last few years. In February 2023, HL has also signed a deal with Argentine Air Force for supply of spares and provide engine repair services to Argentina's two-ton helicopters. On 6 June 2023, a delegation of HL and Indian ambassador to Argentina had a meeting with Brigadier General Xavier Isaac, Chief of Argentine Air Force and Technical Team of Argentine Air Force. The discussion was focused on cooperation in LC Tejas and a variety of helicopters manufactured by HL. The Argentine Air Force has shown their interest in procurement of HL's LCA Tejas fighter jet and helicopters LCH Prashant, LH Dhruv and LUH. The recent Memorandum of Understanding signed between HL and FADA is the first step towards enhancing HL's export of aircraft in Latin American countries. The Argentina can protect itself from large power pressures of United States and China by purchasing LC Tejas. However, the major challenge before Argentina in the acquisition of any fighter jet is the presence of components manufactured by UK firms which are subject to UK government's export veto. Be it F-16 or JF-17 or LC Tejas, all these fighters are integrated with ejection seat made by Martin Baker, which is a UK-based firm. The latest media reports from the last couple of days, including Z Business, indicates that India and Argentina will soon ink a deal to buy 15 LC Tejas fighter jets. Apart from Argentina, India has also engaged extensively with Egypt for enhancing the defense cooperation between two countries. In the year 2022, both countries have signed a memorandum of understanding to step up their defense cooperation. Egypt has shown interest in procurement of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, Akash missile system, LZ Tejas and helicopters from HL. India has also offered to set up production facilities for manufacturing of LCA in Egypt. Besides production of fighter jet, India is also ready to set up helicopter manufacturing plant in Egypt as it pursues export opportunities in Middle East and North African countries. If the deal between two countries inked, it could be a massive export order for LC Tejas. At the same time, Egypt's state-owned Arab Organization for Industrialization AOI, has signed an agreement with Korean Aerospace Industry KI, to locally manufacture advanced training aircraft. The Indian Prime Minister is all set to take the cooperation between Egypt and India to the next level in his upcoming visit. The Modi's two-day visit to Egypt from June 24 at the invitation of Egyptian President is the first bilateral visit by an Indian Prime Minister since 1997. India is keen to advance talks on exporting LCA Tejas light combat aircraft by HL to Egypt. India had earlier offered 70 Tejas LCA to Egypt with a manufacturing facility in the Arab Republic. Cairo has conveyed to New Delhi its interest in procuring at least 20 LCA Tejas fighter jet. The two sides are also likely to discuss India's proposal for the sale of indigenously developed Akash and Akash NG air defense system. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.